watching television? I'll come back and get you in a minute. Doctor. Do you want the doctor to see you? It's Doctor Dale this King. Thank you. I've made a start. You're walking on glass, Mr. Carson. I don't think you know it, but you are. What do you mean? Jenner's easy enough. He's all public domain. But Hennessy's something else. What have you got on him? Nothing yet, apart from tracing his pool car. There's resistance. I can get round it. But it won't be legal. The question is, are you willing to go that far? Whatever it takes. I know a couple of high flyers who can get to the information, but money won't buy them. What will? Heroin. Oh, shh. But we, we don't have to get involved. I just trade them the names of some contacts. One question. Is it ethical? No, no, no. Will it work? It'll work. Now you tell me something. Why? Call it unfinished business. Look, I'll get some cash to the office and you get to work on Hennessy. See what you can find out about Jenna. You're the boss. Yeah. She isn't here. Do you know where she's staying? No. Well, have you seen her? No, she went back to work, didn't she? And I've told her. She's better off with me keeping an eye on the place than leaving it stand empty. Well, if, excuse, excuse me. Are you saying she's got another job? The same one as before, as far as I know. They keep leaving messages for her. Who? Somebody called Hennessy. Thanks. You don't know if she's got any plans for the flat, do you? I mean, you know how it is. I'd be pushed to find anyone half as nice. Well, not apart from giving a set of keys to her brother. I didn't know she had a brother. Oh, yes. Oh, they don't talk about him much. He gets out sometime next week. Oh, yes? Yeah. GBH. Thanks for your help. No trouble. I wanted the kind of job where I could come to work at this time of day. No. No what? No, thank you. Nobody's asked you anything else yet. I never give money to people in the street. Nothing personal. It's a principle. Uh, Jacko and Benny the banker told me to say hello. And you still owe them two and a half grand for services rendered. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate it at all. I was lying about the money. That was just to get your attention. Well, so why did they send you then? I lied about that too. You do an awful lot of lying. Maybe I should take the civil service exam. I don't get this. I had assurances. Well, you see, my world's kind of like yours in a lot of ways. There's all the regular stuff on the surface, and then there's a lot that you don't actually see. Not exactly an old boy network, more a kind of old scores network. God. 
No. Do you want the good news? Is there any? It doesn't have to go any further than this. Well, I'm waiting. Give me some rumors on a certain subject. That's all. And then? Then nothing. Then he owed me a favor, and you were it. Debt canceled. I never leak trade information. I don't want trade information. Well, what then? I just want to hear something useful about the Jenner Clinic. It's just a small time clinic. What's the big deal? No. to get that one open. I could have waited inside. I didn't want to start this off on the wrong foot. So how would you find me? In the phone book. Apart from that, I haven't found out a damn thing. How about you? Same. Have you spoken to anybody? Been banging my head against the brick wall. So we'll come down here to talk to the press. They think I'm inventing some kind of a hoax. They keep passing me off to rival newspapers. Nobody seems to bite. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Saw how she was. She didn't die in any accident. She was killed. And now they're being protected. They're talking murder here. And nobody but me seems to give a toss. What do you want from me? I want us to team up. We can't ignore us both. Look, I'm at the end of the line. You were there. You got to move about more than I did. Did you see anything? Did you hear anything we can use? Not a thing. You're stolen on me, why? Look, all you seem to want is blood. Now what'll do me, what'll satisfy me, is justice. Blood's the only justice we'll get. Is everything else? It's just bookkeeping. You do it your way. You keep your conscience clean. Because that'll suit them just fine. The fact of it is, I'm in a bit of a hole. Well, doesn't that just make the two of us? I had somebody lined up, but the guy threw a wobbler for no apparent reason. What do you need to know? Is that avocado? <laughs> I've had three different bosses in the last two years, and I know all their passwords. I'm amazed sometimes. I mean, who was it that thought of putting avocado on a bacon sandwich? I can get to just about anything. I'll have it for you by tomorrow afternoon. And if I can't get it, then I'll find you someone who can. I mean, the whole place must be like a sieve. Nobody need ever know. David. David, please. Just someone to call. Don't make me grovel for it. Julia. I don't want your sympathy. Before anything else, 
I'm gonna need a few names. Say by four o'clock. No camping gas. Well, it should be in tomorrow. Can you last out? Oh, yeah, I'll burn the furniture. What's going on out there? I wish I could tell you. Well, nobody's happy, I can tell you that. You want to hear my boss on the subject? Could the stuff is right into our MP? It's a free country. It's a free country, all right. We're a practice ground for the RAF. We've got that bloody monstrosity on the coast poison the sea. Half an hour before the nuclear train comes through, my brother's phone goes dead. Every time. Can you tell me why? Depends. And on what, though? Do you remember a CND? Won't touch it. Have been to a communist country? Nah. Well, what about Yugoslavia? Holidays don't count. Your motorbike? When he was younger. Well, they are, then. Things like that find their way onto a file. It's like a point system. A motorbike? Potential member of a counterculture. And you didn't hear it from me. Phew, we're a free country, all right. Free to do as you're bloody well told. Can I have the order, please? Peter, there's no school. I was thinking of that bag. It'll be heavy with all this. I'll manage. Hey, what's this say here? Fruit. We need lots. Well, there's an eye in fruit. Did you write it in? It was my dad. My dad? Here, I'll make that up. Give us your bag, Peter. How are you, mother and father, then, Peter? All right. Has your dad managed to get his tractor fixed, then? I don't know. Come on, let's do your coat up. Tell your dad that there's plenty in the valley willing to help, but nobody wants to pry. That's all. I'll tell him. It's Dave Reynolds again. I've set wheels in motion. I've got a contact for you to talk to. I don't want to discuss it on the phone. Uh, you want another meeting or, or what? Hello, Research is cooperative. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to um, speak to David Reynolds, please, as soon as possible. <laughs> Got a human face. And Mr. Hennessy as well. Detective Inspector Schaffer, one of Stonehill's men. I'm Captain Windler, in charge of the special unit. Why here, Schaffer? No, I've been watching the circus. I know you have. It's the only way into and out of the valley. If we want to move something or somebody, we have to do it through the village. We've nothing to hide from the police, Mr. Schaffer. Or from the public? We have to move carefully. This isn't an ordinary manhunt. You're telling me. You checked on a number of the valley farms, is that right? A few, didn't finish. If you give me the list, we'll finish it now. Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? We've got everything pretty well sewn up. Nothing's happened that we don't know about. He's gone. He'd just be one of the crowd by now. I really don't think so. This is one case where a waiting game's the only one to play. Mr. Hennessy, sir, there's a call for you. It's urgent. So what exactly are you waiting for? A 
homecoming. Yes. London called. I got this from Carton's phone. I got your message. Who's this contact? She's just a starting point. You know Gregory's Cafe around the corner? Yeah, I've been past. I'll see you there as soon as you can make it. What do you reckon? Well, we can't have that. Tell London to jump on him. Who's this contact? Her name's Diane Roman. I've already been in touch. She says she'll talk to you. What is she? I don't know how you describe it. Ex-associate, I suppose. She's an academic. He worked with Jenna in the same department before he went commercial. You kill yourself. That'll live longer than you. Good. What did Jenna work on? Thesis work on the sexual impulse. He castrated cats without anesthetic. What did he find? It took him three years to decide that it put them off. We're not talking about an academic high flyer here. He got a dodgy medical qualification from somewhere abroad. And then he just went from grant to grant doing low-grade research, confirming other people's results mostly. Then he got into Lowski's insulin project. You get more from Diane. She was pretty helpful on the phone. Who's this, uh, Lowski? Yeah. Nominated for a Nobel, but he didn't get it. Dead and gone. She's most inconsiderate of him. What about Hennessy? Neither dead nor gone. It's really too early to say. Give me time, we'll crack him. Delta Foxtrot, are you copying this mobile over? everything you wanted. Peter Carson. Oh, come on, mate. No, I was early. Oh. Uh, can I help? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look, um, I said yes to this, but I'm still not 100% sure what you want from me. That could make two of us. I didn't know Jenna personally. I was just around when he was around. That's as close as it got. I was just an undergrad then. All I knew of him was in-house gossip and his reputation. Which was? As a main chancer, mostly. He had an eye for fashion and a nose for money. There are many like that. Same as you get in any profession. 
money. That's the trouble with the great British public. They expect anyone in a white coat to be Jacob Brunowski. What did General work on when he was here? A human insulin, using genetic engineering to try to produce it. It's an old hat now, but it's hot stuff in those days. Oh, I don't know. It just doesn't add up. It makes, makes no sense to me at all. Give me an example of the way Jenny used to work. He started off on the project as a junior, just another physiologist on the team. Four years go by, and he's as good as running the show. Then there was some big falling out with the project director. They took it to the dean. And who's the one who goes? Presumably not Jenny. <laughs> Absolutely. It broke poor old Lyowski. Is that what killed him? Oh, well, Lyowski isn't dead. He may be demented, but I don't think he's dead. Why couldn't he stick to Douglas bloody Fairbanks? Well, you're not happy. No, I'm not. Where'd you get this? Quiet spot of leakage from the patent office for that one. Other contacts for the rest of it. I've got a business to consider. I've got a lease and two telephones. I'm half a respectable. You want to drop it? I think we should. This is all danger, no glory. When are you seeing him again? What do you want?
Mr. Lievsky, someone to see you. Mr. Lievsky. Dr. Lievsky. Some days are better than others. Some days I can feel as sharp as ever I did, but uh, this place doesn't encourage it. This one? Uh, the one above. Thank you. Pleasure. Couldn't you find somewhere better? Who have me? I have no family. Not very much money, and all the bad days. I don't know how I'd cope. You seem okay to me. Well, this is where I live. Not here. This whole situation is just bad wallpaper. Of course, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jenna. But you know that already. Everybody does. What exactly happened? Oh, I took him in, treated him well. He had an average mind in a good way with the animal data. I was spending so much time out of the department, raising funds, attending to meetings, that I never knew what he was doing until it was too late. He was picking people off one by one and winning them over. My own project was being redirected, and I didn't even know it until it was too late. How could he do that? Science is sex, Mr. Carson. Behind all the cold print and the dull journals, there's passion and jealousy and the terrible, terrible fear of unimportance. Jenna had come up with something far more seductive than I could ever offer. How many people were involved? A dozen in all, mostly the medical staff. They were the ones he took with him when he set up that bogus clinic. Come on, let's go and entertain the troops. What do you mean by bogus? Jenna had no interest in human fertility and involved me having the insulin project. With the clinic, he had the right kind of staff, the right kind of labs, and an inexhaustible supply of his raw material. And the right kind of friends. Oh, yes. Always the right kind of friends. Would you mind? No. Oh, uh... oh, don't worry about them. Those that aren't stupid are stone. Those that aren't either get tied to their chairs. What about you? I fake it. When I have to. Yeah. It's um, after this. <laughs> Let it run for a minute. <laughs> no, no, no. I prefer beer. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Who oh. did make these sandwiches tonight? Well, well they're all awful. Things. <laughs> when was this? I forget exactly. There he is. It's not Jenna. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I've nearly finished He had won over most of them, even then. Oh, no. I was probably the only one there who didn't know. The irony is that I'd started him on the way. I'd approved the first stages of hybridization, but only as bench experiments to observe the rejection mechanism that would take place. There was never any question of assembling a complete hybrid DNA. If I'd thought it possible, I'd have vetoed it. Are you saying that Jenna put together a transgenic organism? Uh, what? A chimera, it's, um, an animal with the hybrid DNA of two different species. The species barrier had been crossed before, but never successfully with a predominantly uh, human component. Good God. 
Is that feasible? <laughs> it depends who you talk to. Some researchers deny it's possible. Some deny it so fast they didn't even wait for the question. Yeah. As I understand it, here's the part I want you to see. 50 hybrid. It is predominantly a private. What do you make of all that? If you'd have asked me yesterday, I'd have said give it 50 years. I wouldn't have thought it was possible. Oh, anything's possible. Not everything's legal, that's all. What would it be like now? I doubt if it lived. I mean, you saw it. Say it had lived. Who knows? God, the patent would be worth billions if you could get it through. Billions? Well, you could experiment on them like people, but without any of the ethical problems. Harvest them for transplant organs, send them wherever there's radiation. No votes, no strikes, no rights, no problems. God, this thing could be bigger than the silicon chip. And for once, we're ahead of the States. Do you approve of all this? I don't approve or disapprove. I'm a scientist. And as far as science goes, this is about as sexy as it gets. What are you going to do now? I don't know. And do you have any contact with Jenner at all? Because if you do, I'd really like to get to him. Will you fix that for me? Go on, admit it, you owe me one. You know. I don't do as one anyway. I'm going daft over there. I know I'm going soft over here. A pot of tea out front. It's for Mike. Do you know? I think you're wonderful. Well, that makes two of us. Found out anything yet? Nothing worth knowing. Hey, you had a visitor this afternoon. From that jumped up little squirt in the pinstripes. What do they think they are? They were all very polite. Pretty as good as threatened us. What were? I'm not sure, but I'll tell you one thing. He's not making any friends round here. We're not his clerks. Then we can just push about. It'll come out somehow, even if only to spite him. Yes, look. Do you happen to have a room overlooking the street? I can pay extra for the double. How about the one you had last time? Fine. You can just register. I'll get you a kid. Michael. Hello, Michael. It's, uh, it's Peter Carson. Uh, hello. Uh, I need to, 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 to speak to uh, David Reynolds as soon as possible. I've got a video of... Uh, he is uh, I available want... right now. I'm afraid he, he's dead, Peter, and they're looking for you. I knew it. I've died and gone to hell. Thanks very much. Nothing personal, but this has to be the worst week of my entire life. The lousy food, gung-ho types, cold showers. It's like one of those dreams when you're back at school. How much longer do you have to stay? So the job's done, worse luck. You should see my room, it's ghastly. Where have you been put? You haven't put me anywhere. I'm in my old room. The country, you can keep it. I always liked it. What will happen when they find him? Why? 
I may need to know. No, I don't think you do. I know you took care of the thing, so it's difficult. By the way, I forgot to tell you. You were wrong about Carson. What do you mean? He showed too much interest. He's to be schooled in the error of his ways. Is he back? Somebody getting out of a cab. this mean anything? Do you know what I actually found out? That it was down on record that I had a history of mental illness. Me. I've had a day's illness in 25 years, mental or otherwise. What did you do? I went to see that Peter Carson. He didn't want to know. This afternoon I came down here, straight to the clinic, because I thought maybe, just maybe, that's where they're hiding the bastard. What were you going to do? I had a gun with me. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even get close. And anyway, it was only this old Lou and me old man I brought back from the war. <laughs> Most I could have done with that was probably blow my own arm off. Have you still got it? He held on to it. Five of them came out of nowhere. Jumped on me. Threw me in the back of this rover while they checked me out. And then this sergeant guy comes along and... ticks me off like I'm some kind of kid. You were bloody lucky they didn't just blow you away. I understand how you must feel, but that is certainly not the way to handle this. I don't know where I go from here. You go home. To what? We were getting the treatment for nothing. Our consultant referred us on to Jenna. He said we were an unusual and interesting case and that he had treated us for free. <laughs> That's one free gift I'll always have cause to be sorry for. Car's there now. Can't have been more than half a minute. Through the door.
silver BMW J-Y-V-70K. Heading north down Bassett Road. All units stop and dictate. Copy this tape for me. Um, it won't take long. Uh, just no, three, four I don't minutes. Know about three, four minutes. Look, um, it's all right. Please, it's important. I'll have a look and see. Cheers, mate. was, as I understand it, due to a fluke. Jenna has since tried to repeat his results, but without success. Anyway, let's have a look. This is still an infant, but we can already see that it is radically different in form and structure from a human infant or a chimpanzee. No particularly the shape of the skull. The left hand is deformed, as is also the spine. Handling of the limb seems to cause it some pain. It has vocal cords, but it cannot articulate. It is developing rapidly. If it continues to be viable, I estimate that it should reach a stage resembling adulthood in about. 10 to 12 years. your turn. Thank <laughs> you. 
She can be your mommy too. And the conclusion of Chimera can be seen next Sunday night at the later time of 9.35.